two killed in gas station shooting on Red Hills Road. Two men have succumbed after a daylight shooting at the total service station on Red Hills Road in St. Andrew. It is reported that around 12.15 p.m. the men stopped to buy petrol when they were shot at close range by a gunman. They were taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where they were pronounced dead. Grand uncle arrested in murder of 16 year old girl. The 46 year old deportee who allegedly shot and killed his grandniece in East Kingston on Saturday was arrested in the community of Seaview Gardens on Monday afternoon. Guilford Henry reportedly killed the 16 year old girl Sarika Picard under bizarre circumstances at her home on Lincoln Road. She was among 12 persons killed over 24 hours last weekend. The Convent of Mercy Academy Alpha High Schooler was playing Ludi with her best friend when it was alleged that her granduncle approached her and shot her several times, hitting her in the head, left arm and upper body. Henry allegedly shot and injured two policemen during a firefight. Clansman gang trial witness testifies that cops were involved in gun transaction. The Home Circuit Court yesterday morning heard that at least two cops were involved in an illegal gun transaction with alleged members of the Wandan gang. This was disclosed by the prosecution's second witness during cross-examination at the Klansman Wandan gang trial yesterday. The Wandan gang is a breakaway fraction of the Klansman gang. During cross-examination, the witness told the court that on the day in question, two policemen entered a yard in Jones Avenue, St. Catherine, where the gun was being handed over. One of the policemen was later identified by name, who the witness said he feared running into when he initially went to the police's criminal investigations branch to give information about the gang. According to the witness, while the parties were engaged in the transaction, other members of the alleged gang were were on the lookout for the presence of the police in the area. The witness was testifying during cross-examination by attorney at law Kemal Robinson who is representing defendant Dwayne Salman, otherwise called Chemist. Robinson sought to discredit the witness, arguing that most of his verbal testimony was not in his statement. A part of the discussion surrounded the involvement of Salomon and the sale of weapons. The witness had said that he purchased guns from Salomon. The witness testified that the policeman was given an illegal firearm in a yard in Jones Avenue. However, the witness told the court that the sale did not go through because of the insufficient funds. No motive for fatal shooting of Portmore men in St. Mary. The police in St. Mary are yet to establish a motive for the shooting deaths of two men in the quiet rural community of Moorall in Islington last night. The deceased have been identified as 35-year-old Marvin Collins and 34-year-old Peter Finley who are both from Waterford, Portmore, St. Catherine. The shooting happened about 11 p.m. Reports from the Port Maria police are that Collins and Finley were among six persons aboard a red Nissan motor car. It is further reported that the car which was being driven by Collins was about to depart more all when two men approached the right side of the vehicle and opened gunfire eating both men who were in the front seats. The police said preliminary checks revealed that both men received multiple gunshot wounds to the head and upper body and they were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. The other occupants of the vehicle were not injured. Collins and Finley were among a group of people that the police said were attending an illegal round robin in Moorall.